Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and very good morning. So kita continue dengan topik yang seterusnya uh, dari 1.5 topik number 2.5 we still in the topic number 2. So sub topic 2.5 uh, title the broadband internet connections. Okay, at the end of this lessons, uh, you should be able to describe the different types of uh, broadband internet connections, both wired and wireless transmission media. So this is the objective of the lessons. Now, what is the broadband internet connections? Broadband internet connections is referred to any types of high-speed internet connections. So this is the important characters for the internet uh, broadband internet connections which is the broadband have a uh, high speed internet connections okay that involve the use of the high speed transmission media the use of tra uh, transmission media and communication device in order to transmit the data Okay, so dia nak hantar and then dia nak receive. So, dia di dalam the high speed connections. Okay, when we talk about the broadband internet internet connections, there is, all, there is always uh, provide high speed. Okay, high speed data transfer rate. Okay, because rata-rata uh, broadband internet connections, when we talk about the broadband, there is the high speed is there. Okay, and then the second one is uh, enable users when the the speed is high. Okay, speed kita laju, then the uh, is 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 it give an advantage to the users to transfer the data within a second. Okay, di tak macam yang uh, connection connection yang slow. Okay, so broadband internet connection dia punya advantage dia is a uh, high speed and then enable users to Uh, transfer a large amount of data within a uh, split second okay then the third one is uh, enable multi user connected simultaneously to share connections so apabila kita ada ada, ada uh, high speed and then bila kita share so speed uh, dia punya speed tu tidak akan berkurang untuk every users even every users uh, do the same things within the Uh, same time okay and then the fourth one is the the connections itself the connection itself we can access uh, internet is connected 24/7 so tidak ada disconnected uh, this sentiasa always connected so broadband also called as a always connected internet okay tidak macam uh, yang kalau suatu ketika dulu kita ada kita ada dial up connections Okay, dial up connection. So, bila kita tak guna internet, then bila computer shut down, and then dia akan disconnect. Okay, bila handphone shut down, and then dia akan disconnect. So, kita nak connect, kita nak buat connection tu melalui dial up. Uh, this not always 24-7 connections. Tapi, broadband uh, internet connections. So, dia ada ciri-ciri iaitu 24-7 connections. Always connections. And then uh, the advantage is another advantage is the phone line can be used for calling and internet within the same time. Serentak. So we can make a call. We can uh, at the same time we can serve the internet. Okay, this is the advantage of uh, broadband internet connections. Now there is a uh, two uh, two categories of the broadband internet connections, which is uh, wired wired connections and wireless connections. Okay, we're going to the wired first. So in the wired, so we have a uh, cable internet services DSL and FTP. So, semua ni dipanggil sebagai uh, connections yang menggunakan physical cable. Okay, so cable internet, DSL dan juga FTP. Then, the other side is the wireless 
Okey, seperti kita tahu ada wired and ada wireless. Okey, so wireless uh, dia menggunakan cellular uh, cellular radio network ataupun uh, as known as a mobile broadband. Okey. And then the second one is the fixed wireless. Wireless fidelity selalu kita guna wireless fidelity aka Wi-Fi. And the last one is the satellite internet services. Okey, satellite internet services. Okey, kita akan pergi kepada detail mengenai uh, about uh, all these types of connections. Okey, kita pergi pada cable internet services. What is the cable internet services? Okay, cable internet services is the high speed internet connections. High speed internet connections. We still in the broadband. Okay, we, when we talk about the broadband, there is a high speed. There is a always, always high speed. Tapi actually, dia bergantung kepada. It depend on the uh, line line kamu lah. Uh, actually, line kamu tak berhenti tu. Nanti kita akan cerita tentang cellular radio. Okay, cellular radio network which is yang kita selalu menghadapi masalah-masalah ni. Even we call it as a broadband internet connection, high speed internet connection. Tapi kita kan sometimes kita ada problems. Okay. Okay, the, kita pergi pada yang pertama tadi, detail. Okay, kita akan, kita akan detailkan what is the cable internet services. Cable internet services in the high speed internet connections that use TV cable and cable modem. So, dia menggunakan uh, coaxial cable. Okay, kalau tengok gambar rajah tu. Okay, kalau tengok gambar rajah tu. Uh, daripada cable wall. Okay, daripada cable wall. So, dia akan ada splitter. And then splitter tu dia akan split kepada two, two destinations. Which is the first is uh, going to televisions. Okay, and the other one is going to cable modem, and then from from the cable modem, uh, dia akan bahagi split lagi kepada beberapa devices. Okay, PC dia akan gunakan untuk komputer, dia akan gunakan dia use for router, Wi-Fi router, router apa modem uh, access point dan sebagainya, A laptop dan sebagainya. Okay, so this is the structure of the internet uh, cable internet services, which is used. TV, cable and cable modem. Okey, dalam masa yang sama kita boleh tengok television. Okey. Next, going to DSL. Okey, DSL uh, DSL stand for Digital Subscriber Line. Okey, Digital Subscriber Line. Okay, DSL is a high-speed internet connection that provide internet access by using telephone line and DSL modem. So, yang ni kita pakai sekarang. Kalau siapa-siapa ada Uni5, uh, Uni5 apa yang sekarang, not, not Uni5, uh, TM punya, TM punya subscribe, subscribe punya, subscribe punya ni. Dia ada satu, ada package yang bukannya yang fiber. Ha, yang itu digunakan DSL modem. DSL modem actually dia kena sambung ke telefon lain. Okay. So provider, service provider, telekom biasa akan bagi satu line, telefon lain masuk ke dalam rumah and then from from there dia akan bagi, beri satu modem. Okay. Called DSL modem and then that modem dan kamu akan sambung ke komputer and whatever. Okay. So, yang ini dia buat uh, high speed internet connection lah. High speed internet connections. Okay. Untuk untuk telefon lain tadi. Telefon lain tadi. So, kamu boleh buat split dua. Split dua. Satu ke telefon. Uh, yang telefon rumah. Dan satu lagi pergi ke modem. Uh, tengok kalau tengok gambar tu. Uh, gambar tu dia ada satu saja di asal modem. Okay. So, daripada phone line, pergi kepada DSL modem and DSL modem menggunakan Ethernet cable ataupun LAN cable yang twisted pair tu and then dia pergi ke komputer ataupun satu cara lain, cara lain dia akan daripada 
phone line so dia ada splitter ok uh, between uh, phone jack dan juga DSL modem dia ada splitter which is dia akan split satu akan split kepada telefon rumah dan satu akan split kepada uh, DSL modem ok and then the advantage the advantage of the connections Uh, transmit over telephone lines so the data is transmit over the telephone lines tapi dia tidak mengganggu line telephone ah that's the advantage so dalam macam sama kita boleh call and then kita boleh surf internet sama juga dengan cellular radio network nanti ah kita katakan ni sama juga sama juga dengan yang television cable TV television cable tadi okey cable internet service tadi so kita boleh we can watch the TV At the same time, we can surf the internet. Okay. The other advantage is the download speed is high, of course, because this is high speed internet connections. Uh, can obtain large amount of data, such as video, music, etc. But the DSL connections is high cost. Okay, so dia kos dia tinggi sebab kita perlukan DSL modem satu and then dia punya fees dia pun tinggi. Okay, fees dia pun yang tinggi. Okay, and then the disadvantage is tidak uh, not available in uh, rural, uh, rural area. Okay, kita tengok nanti kalau rural area kita pakai apa pula eh. Okay, rural area tidak ada line DSL. Okay, next uh, broadband is uh, called FTTP, which is the full name. Its full name is uh, Fiber to the Premises. Okay, Fiber to the Premises. Okay, FTTP, aka broadband over fiber. So when, when we talk about the fiber, the, of course they akan menggunakan fiber optic wire. Okay, so the high speed internet connections that provide internet access by using fiber optic cable and fiber modem ini yang telah kita bincangkan pada topik 2.1 ok 2.1 ok kat situ kita dah dah tengok dah apa dia punya advantage dia what is the characters of the uh, fiber optic punya connections so advantage dia of course connection is very fast and disadvantage dia is costly And then fragile, the wire is fragile, okay, and uh, hard to do maintenance, expensive, and available in limited areas only, even in dalam kawasan bandar pun, hanya kawasan-kawasan tertentu, kawasan-kawasan kecil saja yang tertentu yang ada uh, signal untuk fiber optic. Okay, so connections, so, so this is the connections uh, diagram for the fiber optic. Okay, so dia punya wiring dia datang. This is a modem. Okay, this is modem. This is a we call it as a box, box, uh, box yang menyambungkan ke modem. And then daripada modem, modem ni berada di dalam rumah. Eh. Box ni biasanya dia berada di stations, station yang dihaskan untuk satu-satu kawasan tu. Satu kawasan, maybe dia ada satu box atau dua box saja. And then from that box, dia akan contribute, distribute to Uh, and uh, kepada rumah-rumah dia akan sambung ke modem ok ke modem and then modem akan pergi ke uh, komputer so this is a schematic diagram dia secara, secara ringkas secara ringkas ok FTP alright habis wired communications uh, broadband now we're going to next the wireless Okay, the wireless, the wireless uh, internet connections, broadband internet connections. So the first one is the cellular radio network or mobile broadband. So yang ini yang kita selalu pakai, yang ini yang kita selalu pakai. Okay, so cellular radio network, cellular radio network is a uh, high speed internet connections that provide internet access using cellular radio signal. Uh, kita dah kita dah masuk pada 2.1 hari tu kita dah cerita pasal what is the cellular radio signal ok so this is the the usage of the cellular radio signal to provide high speed internet connections 
and uh, to provide internet access, cellular radio signals and wireless device modem. Okay, so signal ni dia dari contoh yang selalu kita pakai lah. Kita punya handphone lah, kita punya smartphone. So smartphone kita connected to Cellcom, connected to DG, connected to whatever ISP, service provider. Uh, so signal yang mereka gunakan adalah cellular radio signal. Okay, so kalau kita ada lines internet, kita ada data dan kita boleh buat connections pada internet. This is called uh, internet broadband connections. Okay. Baik, walaupun walaupun kita punya walaupun kita ada connection Cellcom 4G 5G semua tu tapi the, the, it depends on the it depends on the the strength of the signal strength of the signal even kalau kita kalau kalau Cellcom if if Cellcom provide let's say 100 megabit per second speed internet speed tapi kalau kawasan kita tak ada signal dan kita pun tak dapat 100 megabit per second maybe less than one megabit but the, the the connection is still as a uh, broadband high speed broadband internet connections okay uh, so kalau tengok diagram kita tengok diagram kat situ so this is the example of the connections uh, cellular radio Okay, there is a house here, client, so dia akan receive, dan receive signal daripada uh, antenas. Okay, daripada antenas. So, kamu tengoklah kalau kawasan-kawasan kamu ada tak antenas. And then, dia ada tak situ, dia tulis Cellcom ke, dan sebagainya. Oh, kalau kamu dekat dengan antena, that mean kekuatan dia sangat tinggi lah. Ber -ber Berbanding dengan uh, kediaman yang jauh daripada antena. Okay. Next, fix wireless. Okay, going to the fix wireless. Okay, what is the fix wireless? Why well, fix wireless is the connection provide internet access by using uh, this dish shape antennas on the building which communicate with another buildings. Okay, which with another building through a radio signal so dengan cara, cara kata lain dia kata lain dia connections between two fixed locations buildings ok by using uh, antennas antennas so the connection is made by radio signal so it is the fixed one to one connections between the premises and the provider Okay, for example, the connecting building to building or tower to buildings. So, we know that the building is the fixed locations. So, they put the antennas and then so the, the users in that building can access the internet. Okay, there's a fixed wireless. Now, we're going to number three is the wireless fidelity. Wireless fidelity, uh, also known as a Wi-Fi. Okay, what is the Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi is the internet connections that provide access using broadcast radio signals, wireless device modem, and wireless access point. So, there are many sources. Eh? There are many sources to get Wi-Fi. Hotspot on your smartphone also provide the Wi-Fi to other peoples and then AP access point access point router access point also provide the Wi-Fi okay ataupun wireless modem wireless device broadband broadband wireless yang kamu letak di laptop okay kamu letak di USB charge uh, charging charger tu uh, itu pun dipanggil sebagai dia akan dia akan provide wifi. Okey. Dia macam pen drive tu. Okey, next uh, the last one is the satellite internet services. Okey, what is the satellite internet services? 
Uh, satellite internet services is the high speed internet connections that provide internet access by using satellite dish and communicate with satellite modem through microwave. Okay, so this is a uh, the quite complex of the connections. Okay, so actually the connection from satellite in the space okay, gives to signal to the satellite uh, at the ground and then from the satellite at the ground so they distribute the internet services to other premises. Okay, tapi di this, this, this Sabah ada banyak ni. For example, dia yeah, time satellite broadband sabah.net, IP star satellite broadband, hatch visions di Labuan ada satu, di Labuan dipanggil tel Labuan teleport ok, what is the advantage of the satellite internet services uh, they use for rural areas ok, normally use at the rural areas, areas. so di sana tidak ada signal cellcom, signal ada tapi dia agak agak weak so dia guna dia akan support satelit akan support penggunaan internet di kawasan kawasan rural ok ok that's all for for the topic 2.5 broadband internet connections thank you